Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Delicracy here, your favorite YouTuber show. Now, for a while I've been receiving lots of comments where you have been saying, Deli, where's the new Let's Play? Deli, when is there gonna be a Let's Play? Deli, Deli why, why do you, do you always, always do builds? Build? Deli, I need more LPs! Deli, when's the new LP coming? Deli, I need a new LP now! Well, guess what, everyone? I have decided to do a new LP. This is our new Let's Play. Can you guess what it's about? But this is what I do before Let's Plays, like, and it might seem ridiculous, but this is the kind of work I do for you. So anyway, I've drawn up these characters that I want to create in Create a Sim. The idea that I have is that we're going to be living and playing two apartments adjacent to each other, or opposite each other. Does adjacent mean opposite? I don't know, it just seems like a more fancy word than opposite. We'll have a girl's house and a guy's house, and then they're all gonna like have a bit of dramas between them. It's gonna be really nice. So the first character I have written down here is Abigail Watson. I really love the name Abigail, and she is going to want to be a little bit of a nerd brain. This sim wants to be both book smart and handy. I'm actually not sure what the reward trait for this one is, but hopefully it's something good. So Abigail's gonna be really smart, but very quiet. So she's gonna be a genius, a geek, maybe not a bookworm. Maybe we should make her more of a loner. So she's kind of like the more quiet one out of the friends, but she's so quiet because there's a lot going on in her mind because she's so smart. You know what else I'm thinking? Maybe I should start basing the Sims on other people's Sims so they look less like my Sims and they all look really different. Okay, let's just get this chick. So this is by FC Bayon Rocks 232. Let's see what we got here. Okay, see this definitely looks like a sim that isn't really my style. And that's what we want. I love the idea of straight eyebrows that go up like this though. Let's get our freckles on here. And I'm gonna change the eyes because I wanna put the custom lashes on and I don't have the mod that removes the lashes. Oh, these eyes are beautiful. Make them a little bit bigger. Okay, so they've made her quite busty. I'm gonna make her a little more rounded like that. Be a bit more rounded. Oh, and we can use the new tiny living glasses. I really wish they had like a pink shade on them. Maybe this hair, this hair looks nice. Oh, and she's got braces as well. That's nice. I think she'd wear like a lot of, you know, she might want to cover up a bit. So she's going to wear more lumpy sweaters, but she's not going to be daggy looking. Like she's still going to be a little bit more fashionable looking in a more indie kind of way. She'd wear cute stuff like corduroy skirts with little, little booties. And maybe she has a nice pendant that her parents gave her for her 18th birthday or something. Maybe she can have like a a silver pendant. She looks cute, right? And I feel like because these guys are, you know, they're young adults, they're living out on their own for the first time. They're not going to have a whole heap of money. So we might like keep the same sweater and change up the pants or maybe do a different skirt. Get some little cutlets on her. So we got jeans, skirt, cutlets. Still not sure about this mustard color. Cutlets. So she has that option and then she has this option as well. Now in terms of formal wear, I think her style would for sure be like, she wants to go to the effort of dressing up a bit, put a little bit of makeup on, a little bit of eye makeup and maybe change the hair up. She might go for something like this. So it's obviously out of her ordinary, like she's ditched those earthy colors and she's gone for some like pastels here. So it's a little softer and she's done her hair and put a little bit of makeup on, but it's definitely not anything super revealing. Maybe just this plain top from uh, the magic pack. That's a nice party outfit. It is definitely something like that. Uh, summer wear, I kind of like the idea of her having a little play suit. Maybe on a really hot, hot day, she'll wear something like this. I actually really like this hat on her, but we might get it to match the outfit. There you go, there's her winter wear. So that is Abigail Watson. Let me know in the comments down below if she reminds you of any of you guys. Okay, so next up we have Violet Fan and she's meant to have a Vietnamese background. Vietnamese girl. Let's see, a sweet girl who loves music and enjoys the outdoors. All right, well, Violet's, uh, Violet's meant to be very pretty, very perfect, but she also kind of relies on her good looks a little too much. Like she's kind of self-absorbed as well. So we'll say that she's in it for money. So she's going to be quite charismatic. I'll say self-absorbed. I can say she's creative and she can also be a little bit lazy. 
Uh, she's going to be a waitress who doesn't really go to waitressing all the time. She's not the most reliable. So let's get some of these lashes on. A little bit of eyeliner. I'm going to reshape her eyebrows a tad to maybe make her face a little more rounder. I got these earrings, which I really, really like. Uh, who are they by? Okrui. Maybe we could do the little lip part because I do have the little lip parting mod. Might put some grim cookie eyeshadow on and I'm kind of wanting to put a few little freckles, but nothing crazy. Maybe something like this is quite pretty. What do we think? I think, I think she looks pretty gorgeous. We could get her to have like a blonde hair, like she's dyed her hair blonde. Although she looks so nice with black hair as well. Oh, but how awesome does that hair look? Oh, she looks cool with like colored short hair as well. Oh, we could totally give her this hair. Okay, she can have a whole heap of these uh, piercings. Now in terms of fashion, I kind of love this gold color on her, but it's probably not her style uh, for everyday wear. I think she should be kind of trend focused, quite feminine with a slight edge. Maybe a little bit cutesy and experimental too. That's a lot to cover actually. Let's just have a look and see what suits her. I still feel like she should have blonde hair. Kind of like the idea of this outfit, but I'm not really finding a colorway that I really like. She has a lot of cute tights. I like this look as well. Oh, she should wear like a little beret. Ooh, not that. Oh yeah, that's cute. I mean, if we had more hair clips and cute hats available, we could go with some other items like that. I mean, this is okay. And then for a formal dress, do we want something kind of like, whoa, factor like this? Black is pretty cool. Ooh, I love this red color on her. Maybe we'll go with this. Ooh, with the boots as well. <gasps> and a red lip. It's very vampy, but it's pretty cool. Ooh, and she could have like a, a choker necklace. Oh, she could have this necklace. That's fun. I kind of like this. This is fun. It's a little different. Now the question is, would she look better with the other hair that is a simple short style? I mean, I think that looks pretty awesome. That's a sick outfit there. I love it. Maybe this can be a party wear outfit, like fur jacket and over the knee boots. Or should we just go back to our platform boots? Yeah, actually, maybe we'll just go with these. I haven't used this dress for so long, but for some reason I kind of like it on her. And then cold weather. I like the idea of a turtleneck in a fun color, just with some basic high jeans. But even a skirt like this, cause it's a little unexpected with stockings underneath and the heel boots. I mean, that's pretty cool for cold weather wear. Maybe she can wear a beret with this outfit as well. Do you think that's the cutest outfit? I love it. Okay, so I went to bed and now I'm back again. And now having a fresh look at the two Sims I made, I made a couple of changes to a couple of these outfits of violets. So I changed up this final outfit and I also added this outfit because I thought this looked really, really cute and kind of fashionable in a more indie alternative way. I think she looks awesome. So I added those and I think I changed the stockings on these two outfits and this was pink. So I decided to make it yellow. Uh, pretty much kept Abigail exactly the same. And now we have to add another Sim, which is Kiri Rakima. But I actually wanted Kiri to have a Maori background. So maybe I will search someone else's creation and we can work from that. Because like I said, I just want my Sims to have really unique looks and not kind of make them all look the same like another deli Sim. Okay, here we go. This is by Alicia Ventura. I've named her Kiri Rakina, and uh, I'm not sure if that's quite the right name, but hopefully that's all right. And I reckon we're going to actually make her a serial romantic. She's also going to have commitment issues because I want to make a Sim who doesn't necessarily want to meet someone to be with for the rest of their life. Like she doesn't necessarily want to find a soulmate. She is a little bit based on the Samantha character from Sex and the City, because I think that she should be a lawyer and super ambitious, but she kind of lets loose by, you know, meeting a lot of different Sims and having adventures with different Sims. Non-committal, there we go. And maybe we'll, I mean, she looks pretty cool as a redhead. Oh my gosh, this Sim is really gorgeous. She's got such beautiful eyes. Actually, if we go with some really like showstopper eyelashes, it doesn't really matter that there's the Sims eyelashes underneath. And I think we might go some thicker eyebrows. I love these grim cookie lips. I love these lipsticks. Uh, cheeks, maybe blush or highlight. 
and you're curious a professional woman but she really loves to dress up and really be super womanly glamorous that's gonna be her style I could also go with this hair maybe we'll do like a blend of different hairstyles oh that hair is pretty awesome too I reckon we can mix it up a little bit let's go with a straightened hair look for one and then we'll do like curly for other outfits too and because she's like a professional lawyer lady I do want her to have a few work clothes these kind of look way too over the top though I could definitely see her wearing something like this with like bright red heels and a beautiful designer handbag with long nails off to work maybe the girls share their necklaces around a little bit so she can have this necklace as well <laughs> I could share these collars Maybe for the next outfit, she can have her curly hair. I kind of love this, but I feel like it might be a little bit, a little bit much for every day. But then again, she's like, it's never too much. So maybe we do just go with this outfit. Like she is going to be over the top. She would totally wear a matching top and bottom, like a co ord look. I don't know if she'd go like full hot pink though. She might break it up a little bit. Maybe a pencil skirt with this top would look really nice. Ooh, or like these pants. Oh, that's quite cute. She definitely is like quite overdressed at times. More corporate wear is her look. It's really cute. Ooh, she looks good in that. Oh, and she should have lots of big jewelry on because she's like bigger the better. Ooh, I like this. And she needs the, the prancy walk style. Oh yeah, there we go. There's our Kiri. Oh, she looks so good. Okay, she definitely needs more jewelry with these outfits now. Just think super glamorous. If we could pair this skirt with this top. Oh, there we go, that kind of works. I think we should get rid of the gold necklace though because the neckline's already really stunning. And maybe even if she had her hair back or up in a bun. Ooh, that's nice. She's so fancy. Oh, we can put it back in this kind of braid look and then she can have some really big statement earrings. More birds. <laughs> <laughs> all the birds she like she works big jewelry really really well yeah I think she looks great okay so we've got that outfit this outfit this outfit I mean they're all very out there looks so maybe we need something a little bit more casual well her ver her version of casual like a gold jacket and jeans and maybe heeled boots yeah this is her version of her more casual look <laughs> I think for formal wear, we really want to show a little bit of skin uh, or a little bit of bust, you know? Still go with something really bright in a statement. Oh, that's probably a little small. Oh, this is perfect. This, definitely. This is Kiri to a T. I mean, the statement jewelry is fun. And I guess you could also, depending on how you view it, it could go back to her roots a little bit, that type of jewelry. Yeah, I think we can go with this look. Oh, and also the nails. Ooh, for sleepwear, she needs a couple of really sensual options. So we have green, we'll have a nice nightgown perhaps, just the plain white. Maybe this little number, very cute. Ooh, party wear, I really want her to hit the town in something really extravagant, like this kind of a dress. Maybe this with the red lip would be a real Samantha-esque moment. I have no idea where these shoes came from. Are these like custom content shoes or did they, did they come in the game? They're nice. Swimwear, she can have this like matching two piece and also I feel like she should have a sexy one piece as well, something like this that really shows off all of her curves. Maybe just the all black is quite nice. Kiri, I think her favorite or my favorite outfit for Kiri would be this uh, blue one. And because she does have that corporate dress sense, I think it does make her feel a little bit older than the other girls. But I think it's just more because she's kind of got her eye on being that professional woman who dresses up a lot. She's got the eye on making money and being independent and not relying on anyone else. And she's also super, super flirtatious as a way to let loose after big days at work. So yeah, this is Kiri. 
history. Then if we just refresh our memories, Violet here, she's a little bit more self-absorbed, a little bit more insecure. We're kind of trying to be a creative, but it's also lazy. Although trying to get into waitressing, even though she's probably not gonna go to all of her shifts. Uh, not the most reliable one. And then Abigail, she is the, the really clever one, the really clever and quiet Sim, uh, who's very loyal. She's very loyal friend to the other girls, even though they're a lot more on the glamorous looking side of things. She's very happy being comfortable and staying true to her style. And uh, they love that about her as well. So I might speed ahead and do the guys now. Alright, so I finished the last three characters uh, for our new series, hopefully if the series goes ahead, which pretty sure it will. Uh, so first of all, we have Alistair Bat, and Alistair is a computer whiz who's going to start earning the big bucks really, really quickly, which will make life interesting for him. Uh, he's ambitious. He's a geek, he's a genius. If I could fit it in, I'd also make him hot-headed because I feel like he's really, really clever, but socially he can be very self-focused and not so nice um, because his whole life is all about his programming. So I thought just cargo pants, hoodies, um, you know, tucked in t-shirts. He's not a fashion forward guy. He just likes being comfortable, uh, but he'll have the money to dress up for special occasions, like to get a proper suit fitted and all of that. And yeah, he's just meant to look kind of, kind of nerdy. Uh, and over time, as he gains a little bit more money, uh, maybe some females start getting interested in him because of his money might be for the wrong reasons. He is going to start changing a fair bit, which will be hard for his friends to keep up with. Uh, so then we have Mason Goods and I love Mason. He's like the class clown. He's into computers as well and gaming and stuff like that. That's why he gets along with Alistair quite well, but he is a creative musical genius, which means he can be quite emotional as well. And he's a goofball. He's a real jokester. So his, uh, his dress sense is he's a little bit more cool and edgy, I suppose. But at the same time, he's still pretty simple with his clothes. Uh, he's definitely not trying to be anyone but him. Like he'll just wear what he likes. And sometimes he'll get a fun stripey shirt out, you know, to dress up a little bit. Yeah, so that's Mason Goods. And then last of all, we have Atticus Pulowski. And Atticus, I, I think is adorable. He's like the mega nerd. Think of Jared from Silicon Valley. And he wants to find his soulmate. He's quite a shy guy. Um, but he really dreams to find his perfect man. He's a loner, he's a bit gloomy all the time, and he's a good sim. He tries really, really hard, and he's also a teacher. So he takes his job very, very seriously, his friendships very seriously. Uh, so these are his outfits. He's kind of, he's a little bit daggy, but I feel like he might find uh, a boyfriend who's a little bit more fabulous and gay and has a really good eye for things who can kind of help him out a bit. Uh, to still be him, but just feel a little bit more confident with uh, the outfits department. Um, but I think he would suit, uh, suit a really fabulous, confident 
guy. So yeah, these are these are all of our Sims. Let me know in the comments down below who your favorite is, if you have any ideas for them, if you think any of them should have romances, just to go through them again. There is Abigail, Violet, Kiri, Alistair, Mason, and Atticus. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I'll speak to you soon. Tack tack!